Hi everyone, welcome back to Ellie's Adventures. We used to be Kale's Castle and now we are Ellie's Adventures. So I am about to introduce you all to Ellie, who my channel is now named after. Ellie is my service dog in training. I had filmed a video a couple of months back. I still haven't posted it. I've had a lot going on with graduation and picking Ellie up, um, explaining why it is that I'm getting a service dog in training, but you'll be coming along on some of our service dog adventures and service dog in training adventures. So Ellie is an 11 week old Labradoodle. I've had her since she was eight weeks old. She is from a breeder out in Missouri and it is a reputable breeder. And I got in contact with them back in December about getting a puppy to be my service dog in training. So I am training with Delta Tails. You can look them up or you can find them on Instagram or TikTok. Um, I learned about them on TikTok. Blythe is the trainer with them. She's fantastic. Training is going really well. Ellie's a Labradoodle, so she is three quarters standard poodle and one quarter black lab. Um, anyway, so the reason that I have a um, service dog in training is that I have something called POTS. I also have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and MCAS, which stands for Mast Cell Activation Syndrome. So the primary symptoms that Ellie will be helping me with are for my EDS and POTS. Pardon me. So EDS is the reason that I have all this stuff going on. And I'll kind of break each of those down for you in this video. So Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a connective tissue disorder and there's 13 different subtypes of it. The subtype I have is called subtype H or HEDS spelled with a little h and then big EDS. Um, that stands for hypermobility type Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So for me what that means is my ligaments and my tissues are very loose. Um, so I have dislocations and subluxations in my arms, my fingers, um, my knees, which causes a lot of joint pain um, and a little bit of like joint stiffness. So I have trouble going from sitting to standing in certain positions. So Ellie will be trained to help me with mobility tasks, such as going from sitting to standing, especially if I'm on the floor, she'll be able to help pull me up um, and help with that. She will also be helping with my POTS. So Ehlers-Danlos and POTS typically go together. They don't always though. So about 75% of people who have POTS also have Ehlers-Danlos. 75% of people with Ehlers-Danlos also have POTS. So, you know, fun little trade-off there. POTS stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. So what that means is that when you go from different positions, your heart rate changes a lot. So for a normal person, if you're going from sitting to standing up, your heart rate might go up a little bit, but it's not going to go up 40 beats per minute. Um, when you have tachycardia, that's for, it depends on your age range. For adults, it's 30 beats above your resting heart rate. Ab yeah, 30 beats higher above your resting heart rate than normal. So for me, my resting heart rate is around 75. If I go from sitting to standing, my heart rate goes up to 90s and 100s. Um, yes. It also gets worse if you go from laying down to standing up or laying down to sitting, that kind of a thing. For me, I have passed out multiple times because of my POTS. I have POTS episodes when there's a bariatric pressure change. You can hear Ellie in the background. Um, so if it's going to storm and I don't know that it's going to storm, it doesn't matter if I know or not. Um, but typically I don't pay close enough attention to the weather to know what the, the pressure change is. Um, I'm more likely to have an episode when that happens. When it's hot out, like where I live right now, it's 96 degrees. When it's hot out, I'm more likely to have an episode. I get overheated and heat stroke really, really fast. So I need to make sure that I'm drinking a huge amount of water. Usually salt intake helps with POTS. The type that I have really doesn't respond well and or I have an MCAS trigger with POTS um, so that salt isn't effective for me. So I've been on medication for it. It isn't helpful for me. It sets off other types of reactions and I've decided that a service dog is the best way for me to help myself with my POTS. So POTS is not something that's curable. There isn't a cure. You can be treated for it, um, but it will never go away. There are ways to manage it. Certain medications can help. Like I've said, the ones that we've tried on me have not helped. They've made my episodes significantly worse. Um, so Ellie will be doing a lot of tasks to help me with my POTS. So there are other service dog handlers on YouTube that you can go and find who have fully trained service dogs. Ellie is very much a puppy and she's very much in training. So 
She does have a lot of rights that service dogs have where I live. Each state, it depends a little bit differently. Um, she has a lot of rights in the state that I live in, and I also have a very understanding boss, so she does come to work with me, and we do training there. Um, we do training at different stores that are pet friendly. There's a difference between pet friendly and service dog friendly. So service dogs can go in any store. Because she's so young and because we're still very much in training, I'm taking her to pet friendly stores and not service dog friendly stores. And it's really not that there's a service dog friendly store distinction. It's that a service dog has legal rights to go anywhere a piece of medical equipment would go, with the exception of something like an operating room that needs to be contained as a sterile environment. So for POTS, Ellie is going to be helping me by doing something called deep pressure where she lays across my lap and helps get my blood pressure back up. During my episodes, my blood pressure drops out and my heart rate shoots up, which makes me pass out. So if she's able to do deep pressure before we get to that point, we can get my blood pressure back up to a safer level. Um, so when I say it drops out, I mean my dystolic goes down to like the 40s, which is really not safe. Um, I also don't respond well to IV and or to IV fluids because there's so much saline in it and salt. Sorry, my camera's moving. Um, so that also is not really a great option for me. So anywho, Ellie's going to be helping a lot. She'll be doing the mobility tasks. She'll be doing deep pressure. She's going to be doing medical alert. So she'll be able to tell me ahead of time when an episode is going to start and give me a little bit of forewarning so that I can be on the ground in a safer position. I can have water and snacks near me um, to kind of keep me awake and keep me aware and that kind of thing. And then she can also help with coming out of those episodes by licking my face and those kinds of things. So I will go and get Ellie so that you all can meet her. She is a ball of fluff. Um, she's a little bit bigger than when I picked her up because she is three weeks into training right now. Um, yeah, she's a really good girl and I'm excited for you all to meet her. So without further ado, I will go get Ellie that Ellie's Adventures is named after. Hi everyone, so this is Ellie. We'll see if she'll look at the camera for you. Here we go. This is Ellie. She has a lot of energy right now. Um, she just had dinner a little while ago. So this is Ellie. She's a little black and white Labradoodle. She's got a little bit of white on her chest. You probably can't see it right now. Um, right where my fingers are. Hello. Do you want your toy? Um, she has a lot of energy. We are very much still in training. At some point I will, hello, I know, we're squirmy. At some point I will film a video of her training on one of our outings. Can you say hi to the camera? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I wanted to introduce you all to her. Um, and I'm so excited to start this adventure and take you all along with us. So welcome Ellie to our new Ellie's Adventure family. Thank you all so much for sticking around for this video and let me know what other content you want to see. Bye. Thank you.